by the time when people are crying, it's time for God to show that he's God. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. By the time the whole world is crying and saying, hey, we are losing jobs, hey, this and that, you must be promoted. Amen. Because your, your faith is not like them. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. When people are crying and say, hey, they're about to fire me, fire me. You as a child of God, you're going to buy a house. <laughs> it, it sounds crazy, right? When people are crying, everything is going down. The economy is going... It, you go to the garage. You reach it there, you ask them, how much is this car? When people are crying, because you are a child of God, you don't live, you know, you don't look, you don't, you don't use your sight to live. You use your heart and your faith. Your problem is that you are checking your bank account and say, hey, but I can't afford this. Go there like you are crazy. You reach there and say, or just call an agent. You call an agent and say, I want a house. They say, okay, these are the ranges of the house that we have. They start with 10 million. They say, can you please search the one of 20 million? And you know you don't have anything. Right? Amen. Tell them. Say, please search the one of 20 million. And don't stop there. Make an appointment. Make an appointment. You wear a jacket. You go and meet the agent. When you reach it, you must be confident. You must ask my wife. I've seen several houses. When I come out of the car, I look at the house. The agent will be talking. I'll say, yeah, but this house is very small. And you can see the house is huge. <laughs> you can ask her. I don't know if she's there. I'm telling you. I'll get out of the car and say, hey. You can see this is a mansion. I don't know how many rooms are there. I'll look and say. Because I used to do that a lot. We used to check houses. I reach there and say, but hey, I'll tell that agent. I said, how much? She said, uh, 25 million. I say, no, I want the one of 45. <laughs> At that time, there's no money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, 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 must, you must challenge God. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to do that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can we pray a small prayer of challenging God? Just small. Yeah. Are you ready to do that? Yeah. Ah. You must challenge him. You go there, you look at it. You know a house that the gate is here, the house is there. That's what we call mansions. Not a house that you just enter, the garage is here. The minute you enter, the, the garage is here. Ah, that's not a house. You must enter here. Your main gate must be here. Your house must be there where there's cows there. Now, if God gives you that kind of a house, I'll tell you now, you're swimming in blessings. Amen. Last, last time I told that you must not get a house where now, when my kids cooking a verse, you are hearing the smell. Aye, when. And as such people, they'll give you problems. Angel. Aye. You know, people who stay in, they call them golf art. The golf estates. Where there's no yard here. Hey! You must see them when they come out of their cars. You must check them. Tell your neighbor and say, neighbor, you, you haven't started living yet. Uh, you, are, you are not living yet. You, your blessings are waiting for you. I'm saying your blessings are waiting for you. You, you must break it. You can't, you, you, listen to this. Check this thing, it's a generational case. Your father couldn't buy a car. Right? You now, you're failing to buy a car. Your father, he died as a poor man. The whole village, they undermined him. 
So even you, you must suffer now. Oi. Oi. The Bible says all the blessings of Abraham, they belong to us. God said to Abraham, look down here. He said, what are you seeing? And from there he said to him, look up. What are you seeing there? He said, your children will be like this. Amen. Are you not descendants of Abraham? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That, that poverty must leave your house in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Receive your blessings in the name of Jesus. Can, can, can you, I want us to go and pray just one minute. And I'll be coming to you and speak with you. I, I believe a blessing must locate you this week. I'm saying a blessing must locate you this week. Are you hearing me? I, I can't hear you. I, I can't hear you. That mountain that has been standing in front of you must make your way in the name of Jesus. I'm saying that mountain must make your way in the name of Jesus. How? Oh. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. The mountain that has been standing in front of you. I'm saying today, in the name of Jesus. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. Make your way in the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Can I get a volume? Are you ready? Say, say you mountain. Uh, today, I come to you with the same spirit that David had. I say in the name of Jesus. Imagine David. Uh, it's like I can see him. The structure that he had. Like this. You know, looking at on a tall man. And say, hey you. In the name of Jesus. It's like this. But you, you are so tall. You, you don't even the guts to face Satan. A small boy who had faith. You know, when every man was trembling. He said, ah, you people, you are allowing this man to, is, to, to insult the Israelites. You, you are allowing this man to insult the people of God. He said, no, I can't allow this. He said, no, I can't allow this. So now today, I want you to look at your problem. Huh? That problem is very small if you have got faith and believe that God is about to do something. Are oh, you hearing me? I'm saying that problem is what? It's very small. So small. Are you ready to cast that problem away? Amen. Say, you problem. In the name of Jesus, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, 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 out. In Jesus mighty name. I am say one minute and from there I am coming to you. I want you to move from your seat. That demon must make a way. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Huh? One time I was traveling, I was with my wife. We entered inside a flight. When we were there in the flight, there was a woman that was sitting not far. I don't know if she saw the woman. From there, the flight started. 
And that woman, she was not far from me. She stood up. She asked a lady that was, uh, they called them what? Flight attendants. Said, can you please give me another seat? I understood why she, was, she wanted another seat. Because if you are a child of God, you have got fire that is burning outside of you. Yeah. A, any wrong spirit, very close to you, must... must uh, hey, you, 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 I can't sit like this with you and you are a demon. It's not possible. Are you hearing me? It's not possible. You must, you must stand up and say, oh, I can't tolerate. Let me go there. She went and asked those ladies that were there. She said, Rakatakata. She said to them, Hey, I can't sit here. Please get me a seat somewhere. Are oh, you hearing me? Say, get me a seat somewhere. I can't sit here. And from there, she left. when she left the flight now, was normal. I said, I can't spend almost you know, half of my life praying like this and I don't see the power of God. I, I, if, if I don't see him, I'll stop. I'll stop and go and do business like other people. If I say God, if I call him, he must be here. The Bible says, listen, the Bible says, when you call upon the name of God, make sure that, make sure that your life itself is straight. Are oh, you hearing me? And if your life is straight, God will come. And give you an E and say, what are you saying? If you don't believe in the power of God, must come to me, I'll show you. Are oh, you hearing me? If you don't believe in what? The power of God. Because I'm seeing that power, the same power, touching many of you. Touch! Touch! Rakatagate. Touch! Touch, Holy Spirit! Yakate seketekete. Rakatote tekese. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. You want power? When you have got power, everything is possible. I, I, I always tell people that when we have got the power of God, poverty can never be part of you because the power itself, it attracts a lot of things. Amen. Power. Many of you drive these small cars that you are driving and you become so much content with them. You know, the small house you are staying in, you, you start to give us pride. I'm saying God is about to visit you. God is about to visit you. Are you ready for the visitation of God? Are you sure you're ready? Huh? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I'm seeing some of you, the scales of your eyes, they, they are being removed. Many of you, you sit like this and say, hey, what am I seeing now? What is happening? I pray that the scales of Satan must leave your eyes. Amen. So that God must show you your future. Amen. Huh? Amen. One of the reasons why you people, you, you give us problems is because you don't know where God wants to take you. But if God can open your eyes just to show you where he wants to take you, right now you'll humble, in fact, you'll humble yourself for, your, for the rest of your life. Are you hearing me? If God said, Moses, in fact, it's the Bible. The Bible said Moses was the most humble man on earth. Huh? So now, it is telling us that even us, we must be humble. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? 
Can we pray just 10 seconds now and I come to you and pray for you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You spirit of delay. Come out of my life. You spirit of delay. Leave my marriage. Leave my business. In the name of Jesus. Say out. Say out. Say out. Say out. Out, 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 out. Jesus mighty name.